Hey, what's up? So, um, yes, this is finally the last trailer for the day, hopefully. Um, and it's really the big one, the one we've been waiting for for a very long time. The Captain Marvel Studio, uh, Captain Marvel Studio, the Captain Marvel movie. And, uh, because I'm looking at the, uh, Marvel Studios thing on there. By the way, pay no attention to the noise from outside, uh, as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos. It's Yom Kippur, which is exactly why I'm here, uh, in my mom's uh, guest room, and not in my usual apartment. And during Yom Kippur, be uh, because it's, uh, well, because people don't drive in Yom Kippur as well, uh, people usually take that the advantage of there not being any cars on the streets to... Um, uh, walk on the on the um, on the, on the roads and uh, skateboard on the roads and bike on the open roads themselves like you know uh, so uh, you might hear a few uh, children uh, running around outside uh, so anyway uh, I would like to point out that this is a clear-cut case of the universe laughing at my misfortune that Literally a day after I finished my uh, uh, Marvel uh, video that I've uploaded on my channel that you should have probably watched by now. And if you didn't, why do you hate me so much? But I've worked for weeks on that uh, Marvel uh, music video that I did. And I added, and because I've worked on it for so long, some new stuff have been uh added to the uh, pantheon of Marvel footage, like uh, some scenes that I that I took from uh, Iron Fist Season 2 that I said to myself had to be in this thing because they looked so awesome. And I was kind of hoping this trailer would come out so I can use some footage of Captain Marvel in that video. But it didn't. And it sucks. And I finished the video and I've already uploaded it uh, about an hour or two ago. And I said to myself, damn it. I am not changing a single thing about that video because that video was awesome. With or without whatever is inside this thing and I hope I don't regret doing it. But, hey, there's always the future and I can always use some of this footage in future videos. So, um, let's not waste any time and just start talking about Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is a character from the, uh, uh, from Marvel, obviously. Um... Uh, he was created around the, uh, I don't want to give you a specific date, but around the end of the 60s and the early uh, 70s, it was uh, an alien from an alien race called the Kree. Uh, he was uh, kind of sent to Earth to kind of test uh, Earth's uh, military defenses, but he kind of fell in love with Earth, especially with a young woman called Carol Danvers, so he became this protector of Earth. By the way, they're, sh they're shapeshifters, so that kind of helped. And, uh, uh, yeah, he, his name was uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, which also beca uh, became uh, uh, Marvel's uh, company name in the uh, early 60s. So that kind of fit together. And uh, during the 70s, uh, he, uh, spoiler alert, died in a, uh, what is considered to be Marvel's, uh, uh, first graphic novel, which, no spoilers, it's called The Death of Captain Marvel. Clever name, but, um, in a sort of a lab accident, uh, some of his alien Kree powers were transferred onto this girl, Carol Danvers, and so she became the new Captain Marvel. She was called Miss Marvel for a lot of years, but uh, a few years ago in 2012, I believe, she finally uh, fully embraced the title of Captain Marvel. While the, uh, the title of Miss Marvel was passed on through multiple different uh, other characters. And this is the Captain Marvel we're going to see in this movie right now. Carol Danvers... Uh, as Captain Marvel. Uh, a little bit of background. 
By the way, she is the character that Nick Fury was calling on the uh, pager at the end of uh, Avengers Infinity War, just seconds before, during, and after he was dusted. And that's the uh, logo that showed up on the uh, the pager. I'm assuming we're going to see the pager in this trailer. If not, then you can guarantee you can, you're going to see that pager in the movie. Anyway, this movie takes place in the 90s. It doesn't place, take place uh, before, during, or after Infinity War. Well, technically before, but uh, this thing takes place uh, uh, two decades almost before the first Iron Man movie. And we're going to see Captain Marvel as, a, as an Air Force pilot. Uh, uh, Carol Danvers, I should say. As an Air Force pilot who was already... Uh, she already got her powers... Uh, and she's uh, serving in a galactic peacekeeping force called uh, the Star Force, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she's working with other Kree soldiers, including several returning characters like um, Ronan the Accuser and uh, Korath the Pursuer from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and other returning uh, characters are uh, Nick Fury, who, was, who had this sort of... Uh, the aging technology used on him to look uh, 25 years younger than he is right now for almost the entire movie, if not the entire movie. And he's got hair and he's got two eyes. And uh, I'm assuming that in this movie we're going to see exactly how he lost the eye that he lost. And uh, other returning characters happen to be uh, Agent Coulson. Yes, the guy that was killed during the Avengers and had a, his own TV show for five seasons and everyone just forgot about. Um, so uh, this uh, this movie is going to introduce a concept that has had a long history in the uh, Marvel Universe, in the comics at least, uh, called the Kree Scroll War, a war that has gone for Centuries upon centuries, millennia, all right? Uh, millennia of war between uh, two alien races called the Kree, which is where Captain Marvel comes from, and the Skrull, an al uh, a race of uh, shapeshifters uh, who only really care about um, taking over other uh, planets and adding them to their uh, Skrull empire. Unlike the Kree, however, the scrolls um, shape shifting is literally in their blood. Uh, they, it, it's part of their culture almost. They, they get very, very attached to the uh, person or whoever that they uh, change their shape into, and it's a very fascinating uh, thing in the comics. And uh, there was a storyline a few years ago uh, called Secret Invasion, where pretty much half of uh, everyone's favorite characters turn out to be scrolls, uh, sleeper agents who are on Earth gathering information without even their knowledge, and they just turned out to be scrolls. And there was a massive war between the with, between the humans and uh, scroll versions of uh, superheroes. And it was also a good way to bring back certain characters that have died, like Captain America, because he died after the Civil War storyline, but then it turns out he wasn't dead, he was actually a scroll the entire time, and the real Captain America was in space somewhere in a scroll prison. Very fascinating, and the, re the reason I'm telling you all this is because there's a slight chance we're going to see something similar to that uh, happen in the MCU pretty darn soon. So uh, keep your eyes peeled, maybe some of the people who died uh, during Infinity War, spoiler alert, are scrolls? I don't know. So, let's just watch this. Uh, I really hope the scrolls look good because uh, they have this really sort of interesting looking chin. Very similar to Thanos, but I hope they made it different enough. Uh, there, there were some uh, uh, pictures uh, released a few weeks ago, but, uh, you know, pictures are pictures, and uh, once you really get to see these things in action, they're, they're going to look significantly different. So. I think I've melted your minds long enough. Let's just watch this thing. So excited. By the way, this is the first uh, solo female uh, led MCU movie. Uh, not Marvel movie because we had 
Electra. We've had uh, uh, other female superhero movies like <laughs> Catwoman uh, and Wonder Woman. But this is the first time that a, a female-led superhero movie is in the MCU. Well, enough, we had a couple of uh, female-led uh, TV shows like uh, Jessica Jones and Agent Carter, but you get the point. Wow, a lot of stuff to unpack in that uh, preview. Anyway, let's watch the trailer. Whoa! Whoa! Blockbuster video! Yep, it's in the 90s! Just in case you forgot! War is a universal language. There's Nick Fury. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. So Never occurred on to Earth? me that one There's might a... come from above. Ooh, nice! Space invasion. Nice! Whoa! Whoa! I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. <laughs> so you're not from around here. It's hard nope. to explain. Wow. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. Whoa. The Star Force. We have no idea what threats are out there. The Scrolls. We can't do this alone. Coulson. The Avengers. Wow. I'm not what you think I am. Whoa! Oh wow! Wow! And I thought the, the Mary Poppins trailer messed me up. Wow! This is amazing! Wow! They literally said everything I said they probably would do, but it was still amazing to see it in action. You get everything I was. Like, Hoping to see, I saw a Fury with the two eyes, Coulson, the Star Force, the Scrolls, the Kree, the Accident, the Pager, everything. By the way, by, by when I say Accident, I mean the Accident that gave her uh, the powers. Wow! Damn. And uh, I, I guess the trailer kind of sets up that she was already part of the Star Force and she landed on Earth, but she forgot she was. Uh, born on Earth or something. I, there, there's a little bit of Memento going on in there. And by the way, I absolutely hated Memento. Uh, there's a there's a whole story I can tell you about that movie uh, and why I hate it so much. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, wow, I love this thing. Wow, the sci-fi element on this movie is amazing. And when she punched that old lady on the bus. That old lady is a scroll. I don't care what people said. I mean, yeah, I mean, how can you punish an old lady? She's a scroll. And why? Because Marvel, Marvel Captain, because Captain Marvel would know. That's why. Wow. And by the way, I forgot to mention this. Captain Marvel is just uber powerful. She's like next level uh, power. She's almost as strong as Superman. That's just how strong she is. She's she's basically the equivalent of Marvel's Superman, which is kind of appropriate. They they name her Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel was a name previously owned by Shazam. Shazam! And uh, there was a whole rights battle between Marvel and DC about that name. So now, yeah, you get the point. Wow. Uh, can you guess how ecstatic I am? Um, Wow, I don't even know what to say anymore. The, these trailers are killing me. What have you done to me, universe? Anyway, so, I, I just, I love this trailer and I can't wait to see the movie. Whoa, I've been 
talking about this movie for 15 minutes. I am crazy. Wow. Nobody's gonna watch this trailer reaction. I can tell you right now. Uh, whoops! But I had a lot of stuff to say. I Damn, I wish that trailer came out two days ago when I could have used some of the footage in my uh, video because that trailer looks awesome. Anyways, thank you for listening to me yammer on for however long I did, so goodbye, I guess. Hello again, everybody. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel where I do all kinds of weird stuff like showcase all these things, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time.